In this video, I wanted to talk to you guys about basic face brushes. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. My name is Morgan. I am a professional makeup artist and a licensed cosmetologist. Anybody starting with makeup can tell you that finding the perfect brushes can be kind of a challenge. So today I'm gonna go through some of my favorite face brushes to try and help you on your journey. This is a Kabuki style type of foundation brush. And these are really great for blending out foundation. So I love to use these. It's not gonna pick up a whole lot of product. So you just kind of want to lay it down with your foundation brush or whatever you have. I like to dot it on my face first and then I use this brush to blend it out. This brush is also really great for blending out a primer before your foundation. It is a nice densely packed brush so it's really going to smooth out whatever product you put on it. Next up we have a contour brush. This brush is nice and densely packed as well, very soft and it's going to go ahead and lay on those deeper contour colors and help to blend them up. I like to go ahead and use this brush for laying down the color. It has a nice shape and then blending it up in my cheek area and then down on my chin and also around the perimeter of my forehead. Just a really nice brush to have in your kit. Next up, we're gonna have a good old fluffy powder brush. This one is very fluffy. It even is a little bit domed, which is nice because it gives you a little bit of precision if you want like a less diffused blush look. It's also really good because it's nice and big, so if you want more coverage, you're gonna get it with this type of brush. So this is good for powders, it's good for blush, it's good for setting your face with a setting powder, a very good essential brush to have in your kit. Next up we have this Real Techniques little brush. I'm gonna call this a little powder brush because I'm not exactly sure what they call it, but I love this brush. This brush is great for getting underneath the eyes and setting your concealer to stay in place. This is also a really great highlighter brush because it's so small and dense it can get right on the cheeks and not lay down too much color because as you know if you put down too much highlighter you're gonna shine like a disco ball and it's not cute really love this brush I have about three of them in my kit so those are really great brushes to get you started. I wanted to take one minute and talk about brushes that you want to avoid if you're just starting in makeup so this brush here looks like a regular powder brush, doesn't look like anything you should probably avoid, but I'm gonna tell you why you should avoid this one if you're just getting started. So this one is a very densely packed powder brush. So if I go ahead and pick up, let's say, a blush, and just try and stamp that on, it's gonna stamp right in that spot. It's not gonna be very diffuse and it's gonna end up looking a little too heavy. So this brush is great for like blending out foundation or even using a powder foundation, this one would be good for. But it's not good for blush or even a highlight. So if you wanna find a blush brush or a highlight brush, even though this looks like it might be a good bet, it's a little too dense and I wouldn't recommend using it. All right guys, so those are my basic face brushes. I hope you guys liked my picks. If you did, would you do me a favor and give me a big thumbs up on this video? I would truly appreciate it. As always guys, I really appreciate you watching and if you have any questions about anything, please comment down below. If you enjoyed this kind of content, please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I upload a new video. I upload videos weekly and I'd love to see you guys next week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!